So it's time for another student loan update video and this one we're going to look at the cycle between December 2021 to January of 2022. We're going to look at how Group C and Ed Financial has progressed and I also have a very big update for you guys regarding my student loan payments. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Dred and I post personal finance and dividend investing videos and pretty much anything related to money. But right now, I am documenting my journey in paying off my student loans. So if you're interested in seeing how everything unfolds or just want to show your support, then please consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video and also sharing this video and without out of the way let's get back to the main thing so in my last update i started to pay down ed financials group c which had a balance of around three thousand five hundred fifty four dollars and thirteen cents now five weeks had gone by and i started to make two hundred dollar weekly payments to this account so as of this recording group c has now been reduced to two thousand five hundred fifty four dollars and thirteen cents so that's basically a one thousand dollar reduction so now let's take a look at my payment breakdown for this cycle the next payment after my last update was on the 20th of December for $200 and then every Monday until the 17th of January I continued to pay $200. Now the big lesson here guys is to always set up your auto pay so that you don't forget any of your payments. Unfortunately if you have Ed Financial you know that they don't have a good system when it comes to auto pay and I've explained this issue in one of my older student loan update videos. You can set up auto pay in Ed Financial but the amount that you pay is basically spread out across all of your loan accounts. That amount pays off the minimum for each of your accounts first and then adds whatever is left over to all of your accounts as well. Now, to be honest, I don't understand how they actually weigh that, so I opted to schedule all of my payments manually instead. I also noticed something very different with my December 13th payment. If you look at this screenshot, in my last update, this transaction was considered as one, but now they have separated that transaction into two entries one for the payoff for group b and another for the extra payment for group c now to be honest i actually don't understand why they do that i'm guessing that when i did it in my last update or when i made my payment they kind of like just put them together because you know they were being processed together and then when the payment was clear they just decided that you know what let's separate these two things into two so there you go there are two transactions or two entries well obviously this is not a very big thing because the balances have not changed in my account anyway but this is just something to keep in mind for those who have loans in ed finance and that is how I progress with my group C and Ed Financial. As for group A, there still has no changes. The balance still sits at $5,344.78. So now let's take a look at how many weeks I have left to actually pay group C off. With another extension from the US government on all federal student loans, we will all be resuming our payments on May 1st, 2022. And in my last update, I estimated that I would fully pay off group C around the third week of April. And considering the extension for this forbearance, the calculation for the target date has still not changed. Group C will still be paid off around the third week of April. However, this calculation will be affected by my update that I mentioned in my network video in January. I'm doing this because I'm saving the money for something else and this is a very big decision for me because I still want to make sure that all my student loans are fully paid off before the end of the year. And having that pause in between just pushes my target date further. As for Group C, that basically means that this timeline will be pushed back to around the middle of May. Anyway, the balance as of January 25, 2022 for my entire student loans is $7,898.91. Even though I'm taking a break in making payments for at least a month to my student loans, I am actually not worried too much about it. I still feel very optimistic about my student loans this year just because of how things progressed last year. I basically still have some leftover excitement. And the goal to completely get rid of my student loans this year is still the priority and I have complete faith that it will be done. Since I will be taking a break from making any payments, it doesn't make sense for me to actually make any student loan update videos for the month of February. So you can expect the next one to be on March. And that is all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. I really appreciate that. And if you find content just like this one to be fun, enjoyable, informative, please consider subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and also sharing this video. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you get updated whenever I post content just like this one. And also, if you are on Instagram, please add me there as a friend at Daily Dread so that we can chat, collaborate, and maybe even exchange some ideas. Thank you so much again for watching the entire video. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.